Our son was seven years old when he was diagnosed with leukemia. Benji had a, a spark, you know, a sparkle uh, in everything that he did. Uh, he was very intuitive. He liked being outside. I think he liked nature. He definitely was by far the bravest person that I have ever seen in my life. Benji had a personality that uh, was magnetic in a lot of ways. He could enter a room and make everybody in the room instantly notice him and also instantly smile. He had a lot of intentional, practical joker in him and was fond of giving me a hard time. There were plenty of whoopee cushions and... Uh, inappropriate noisemakers. Yes, on the IV pole. Nurses would come in and he'd be hiding in the room, not in his bed, so they'd be like, where did he go? <laughs> yeah, he was definitely interested in making people happy. Benjamin was diagnosed with actually the most common type of pediatric cancer, which is called pre-B-ALL, or uh, precursor B-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia. As a disease overall, it's quite curable. For some children, however, uh, the disease uh, either does not respond to treatment as we would hope, or uh, the disease comes back after or during completion of therapy. Uh, and that, unfortunately, was the situation for Benji. He was on treatment for just over two years. After conventional treatment for Benji's relapse leukemia failed, um, his physicians explained CAR-T therapy to us, which um, is the process where the patient's own T cells, their own immune system, is used to fight the leukemia. But at the time, it was only available by clinical trial. And I just try really hard not to focus on how close we were. We were watching this research and education building be built through the window of our hospital room. We just felt like we needed to continue to take action to help this research along. It is a palpable feeling to, to be in, in that space, and I think everybody just feels hopeful. The goal of the fund is to be truly innovative and to change the way we take care of children with cancer. I know you're ticklish. Oh, my hands are cold, huh? <laughs> Sorry about that. This is serious. truly extraordinary time to be taking care of these patients. The shift from chemotherapy only treatments to immunotherapy and targeted therapies. And it's really put you know, Johns Hopkins All Children's on, on the map as this, you know, the center for um, you know, smart science. There's no better care that we could have gotten anywhere, and, and, we, and we know that. I feel indebted to them for the rest of my life, just for the love that they showed Benji and the friendship, and they really like got to know him and his brother Banyan and our whole family. We really want the lessons they learned from Benjamin to be applicable to many, many, many children. We were inspired by the doctors and their creativity and their tenacity, and they were fighting just as hard as Benji was, and they, they never stopped, and he never stopped, and we're not gonna stop. Him.